back everyone this is a brand new series it's my entire workout routine that i followed before tea and after tea you guys asked for it so here you are i'm gonna make every video uh day by day in the routine and this day in particular is chest and back so just getting straight into the video like that now this whole workout routine was specifically made to masculinize my body so there's a huge emphasis on upper body and lots of shoulder work. So if you guys are wondering how I got my shoulders, um, you, can, you can just follow this routine for free. I promise. <laughs> now, every workout day of this routine, I started with 8 to 10 minutes of light cardio. And that was either high incline uh, walking speed or fast walking speed on the treadmill or some biking or some rowing. Now, after that, um, like I said earlier, there's a huge emphasis on shoulders, so this is me warming them up, and uh, any other muscles, depending on the muscle groups for the day, but uh, yeah, I'm about to do some lat raises, because lat raises are my weakest uh, exercise, so you're always going to start with your weakest exercise first, and uh, this is what I'm doing here. Now this whole routine is progressive overload. Now what that means is uh, I'm going to choose a rep range to do a specific weight for. And preferably if you're starting out you should be doing some light weight. So that way it's easier to uh, work up instead of you know risking hurting yourself or tiring yourself out before you can actually find the weight that is efficient enough for you to do for that rep range. Now there isn't really a specific range of reps that is most efficient. So you can choose uh, between six to eight reps, uh, 10 to 12 or even uh, 15 to 18. Um, the sweet spot for me is eight to 12 because I think that it is just the perfect amount of volume without putting too much energy as if you were doing 18 reps and that's also very time consuming. So with that said, uh, the rep ranges that I have for these exercises are either 6 to 8 or 10 to 12. Now I'm going to use rowing as an example here because this is the next exercise in the routine seated rows. You can do any type of seated rows, cable, machine, whatever. You know, as long as you are doing that motion, you are going to gain muscle there, regardless of whatever exercise you're doing. As long as it's targeting that muscle group, you're going to gain muscle. You don't have to overcomplicate things. Um, unless you're a bodybuilder, then that does come in handy and can be useful. But I just wanted to keep it simple, and this is how I did that. So for rowing, I usually do about two sets, uh, basically with any back exercise. I personally do two sets because my back is already freaking huge for no reason. So uh, I like to put more energy into the other muscle groups. But you can choose two to three sets. Um, as you can see here, I'm doing 70 pounds and my rep range for this is 10 to 12. On this day, I was doing 70 pounds for 12 reps. Now, since I was able to do those 70 pounds for 12 reps, uh, I'm going to do progressive overload, and I'm going to add 5 pounds the next time I do rowing. And so, with that said, I'm going to go back to 10 reps for 80 pounds. Since I added those 5 pounds on each side, it should be equal to 80 pounds on each side. And so I'm going to repeat that if I can do those 80 pounds for 10 reps, I'm going to do those 80 pounds for 12 reps, and then so on and so forth. Add 5 pounds again next week, and that's how you progressive overload. The weight you add in between, let's say every time you do the exercise is up to you, um, depending on how the increments of your weights at your gym or what's available to you. But if you are unable to progress, then you're just going to keep doing that weight for the same reps over and over again until you do. Now notice the control in my concentric and eccentric contractions there. It's just keeping a controlled speed 
letting go of the weight and pulling it for any exercise. Because putting the weight down is just as important the way you put it up. And so keep it controlled and you'll get a much better pump that way too. Next exercise, if you can't already tell, there are chest flies. I did these for two sets. I should really be doing them for three because um, I feel like my chest is pretty lacking um, aesthetically. So I would personally do these a lot more uh, than two sets in my opinion. But uh, yeah, again, 10 to 12 reps for these and keep it controlled. There is a reason for every exercise here. The reason I choose lat raises over, let's say, military press is because the lat raises are going to work your side delts more than anything. And with those, if we work those and make them larger, we can make a more V-shape along with the lats, which are worked during rows and pretty much any back exercise. We can make a V-shape and minimize the appearance of our waist and our hips, which may be a burden to a lot of people. Chest flies, they're going to work the inner chest and make your pecs look more defined. And that can just help with your appearance of your chest if you're dysphoric about that. Just for a little, uh, to work on any imbalances we have, I do have single arm lat pull downs for, again, 10 to 12 reps. I do have regular lat pull downs on another day of the routine, but again, uh, I did develop some uh, muscle imbalances in my back over time, and so this helps a lot with my strength and keeping it in check in both sides. I had improved my strength incredibly since the last time I did this session. Uh, just looking at my logs and everything, I've probably gone up about 20 pounds in each exercise uh, since I last did this routine. And so that was really, really gratifying to see and uh, pretty hype. But again, this had me sore for a week after. And this was just the first day, so... I hope you guys have fun with this exercise because progressive overload is super fun and gratifying and fulfilling in my opinion just seeing your goals go up and it's great. So last exercise is supposed to be incline uh, dumbbell press or chest press but all of the benches in my gym were occupied. I only have two like inclinable <laughs> benches in my gym for some reason I don't know if that's a word inclinable but you, you get the point I'm, I just chose this uh, inclined chest press machine uh, it did the job now because I am just like obsessed with chest press movements right now I did these for three sets 10 to 12 reps and just like looking back at my logs and like what I used to do in chest, like my chest was the weakest uh, before, uh, and I was just, I was too crazy on my back, my back was stupid strong, and I didn't work my chest, and so just looking back at the weight I was able to do back then versus now, insane, I, it was very exciting. I used to, I don't even know, probably no more than a 25 plate on each side here, and now with uh, almost every pressing movement it seems that 45 is the standard for me now and I would have never thought I would be able to press 45 on each side even the bench press 135 that seemed unattainable to me but uh it is and I am not stopping there I I need to get to 225 on the bench it sucks because it seems like 225 or even 315 is a new 135 in almost every lift now on social media. So don't let anyone diminish your excitement about like goals you've met in the gym. Like people who comment, oh I'm 9 months old and I can squat 315. I don't care. We all start somewhere and we all have different goals and factors in what we do. It's important to know that no one will ever invalidate what your hard work is what you can do and what you cannot do. So this is the aftermath, the pump. Uh, it took me about an hour to do this entire workout um, compared to my current workout routine which takes me about an hour and a half and so this was 
way more satisfying in a shorter amount of time and I got to push some heavy weight visit my old routine it was awesome so I hope you guys enjoy this type of video and uh, yeah thank you all right uh, that was the video thank you for watching um, if you have any suggestions like content ideas anything you guys want to see or see more of drop a comment below because it really helps me a lot like that last video someone recommended and I was like okay sure and I did it <laughs> so uh, I really do listen to you guys comments and requests but yeah you guys wanted a routine this is the routine I followed um, before I started doing TikTok and a mosquito bro man it's getting bit over here bro all right, I gotta get out of here. Um, but yeah, try it out. Let me know what you guys think. I got an insane pump from that. I, I miss it so much. I'm totally gonna go back to that after surgery. Um, but yeah, see you guys.